it's a new feature. It's coming in 21, but I'm pretty sure that when you get to know it, you'll love it as well. It's expression-based parameters. It does sound very fancy, doesn't it? So let's see what it can actually do. What if you could set uh, in Adora parameter to the outcome of a numeric operation? You could set CPU count to eight divided by two. Okay, it doesn't sound that cool. I could just as well have written four. But imagine that I could set a parameter to the same value as another parameter. So if I want to set SGA target to the highest possible value, I could simply set it to the same value as SGA max size. SGA target equals SGA max size. So if I later on raise SGA max size, the target increases as well. Now that's pretty cool, I think. But you can also actually also combine them. So you can use one parameter as input to a numeric calculation and set it to the and set it a parameter to that value. So imagine that I want to set the minimum value of my shared pool size to 20% of my SGA target. I could do the calculation myself. But again, if I later on raise SGA target, I would need to recalculate the size of the shared pool. Or I could just set the shared pool size to 20% of my SGA target. And then it'll change when I change SGA target as well. So you see where I'm getting? This is really cool. But it gets even better. You can use min and max functions. There is operator precedence that you can override and you can combine them. So in this example, I'm subtracting five gigabytes from the SGA target and taking 20% of that. I compare it with eight gigabyte or 8,000 megabyte, and I take the highest value of those two and set it to my shared pool size. Cool. But if that's not enough, I can also use environment variables as input. So for instance, on Windows, there's an, an environment variable called number of processors, which obviously gives you the number of processors in your system. So if you want to do instance caging and prevent one of your databases from using all, of, all the CPUs and a host, you could set it to the environment variables that has the number of processors divided by two. So if you later on move the database to a more powerful uh, host, that number will be recalculated and it'll have a, a new value. You can use it for also system commands as well as also session commands. It goes into your SP file, but you can even write it into your P file. So you can write it directly in, in your P file and start the database using that. This is really cool. Let me show you a demo where we can see how it's used in effect. Number of processors is set to eight on this system. It's an environment variable and I use it as input for a numeric operation and I calculate my CPU count to four. Also, I can see that SGA target is a little lower than SGA max size. So I set SGA target to the value of SGA max size. Now SGA, max, uh, SGA target has been raised. Also, I haven't defined a minimum size for my shared pool. It's zero undefined. So I set it to 20% of my SGA target, and now it's set to six gigabytes. So these are some examples of how you can use expressions in your init aura parameters to have a more dynamic environment where things like CPU count or memory settings, they change when the database moves to a new host or the host has, has a, 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 or, or when more resources are added to the host. I know this is not a 10x performance improvement, but this is really something that can make your day-to-day -day life a lot easier as a DBA.